Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Video. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget. I want to talk about what I find very interesting about LA. Mm. First of all, I feel like the food here has a different molecular structure. It's strong. Because I went to, um, where's this place? Chuck E. Cheese. No, not Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake yeah. Factory. And I had a, um, what did I have? I had a spaghetti carbonara. Mm, that's a creamy one, right? The creamy with pancetta Yard. and chicken. I'm tasting it already. Yeah, so, <laughs> ah, when they, first of all, even before they, even before they bought the food, mm. they bought me um, bread, warm bread, and they bought me Coke. But you see wow. the sizes here. It's not quite the same as the UK sizes. So like, you know, like how we have like, do you know what you want to pint a bit? It was mm. a pint yeah. of Grand Coke. <laughs> Think. And by the time the food came, I had already drunk the pint of Coke. I'd eaten the bread. I was like, wow, this bread. I said, yeah. wow, it's even warm. Yeah. That spaghetti was like literal oil. Like I lifted it and I was like, this shit is clogged. Artery shit. clogger. Yeah. Actress. Like artery clogging yeah. food. But guess what? I'm going to eat that shit. Period. <laughs> and we going to eat it up. Period. <laughs> I ate it. Yeah. And it was like, I can feel the food really weighing in. Like it mm. was like. It's sitting in your gut. If I've never been pregnant, but I feel like. That's what it feels like. <laughs> you know, when yeah. something, I've never felt yeah. like something heavy yeah. is in my stomach and it's just sitting yeah. there like slushing all around. Day, all day, It's It, it was doesn't. proper aggressive. Like I, I've never counted down pooing before, but I was really <laughs> excited to go to the toilet because I'm yeah. like, I want to get rid of this food immediately. Yeah. What's your favorite food here? American, right? Yeah. <sighs> Lasagna. Girl, that I is like Italian. Get the fuck out okay, of here. Okay, okay, okay. When we say American, like hamburgers, that kind of thing. Honestly, I really like a good cheeseburger with bacon. Bacon. Oh, I, I love bacon. I had, have I had a cheese? Do you know, the McDonald's is quite different here as well. Yeah. I quite like the McDonald's. Do you know what I did like though? There was a breakfast that I had that had like biscuit bread. I've never had biscuits. Like, was it chicken biscuit or? It was just, what was it? It was a breakfast biscuit. Oh yeah, it's never normal. had a breakfast biscuit before, and how did it taste to you? I didn't like it. It was like a dessert type of bread. It was like a sweet bread. Mm, that's how it is. Yeah, mm -mm. they put honey on the bread. Sometimes jam. Yeah, no, it's, that ain't it, yo. We have this place called Bojangles in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the biscuits are very sweet, and it comes with chicken, sometimes mm. sausage. Yeah. Who that is? That's it's, good stuff. Yeah. That is good stuff. <laughs> no, I'm having a good time. The weather yeah. hasn't been great. Mm -mm, it hasn't. Apparently, this is the first time that um, the weather has been this bad in a long time, which is kind of yes. ironic because I've, I'm here. <laughs> like, why? Like, <laughs> why you got to know what I'm here? Time, like, I don't get it. Like, you know? why did you not come after? Exactly. But I kind of feel like I brought the London weather with me because it's back home. It's like minus mm, four degrees. Yeah. So yes. the weather is really, really bad. And when I first came, we went partying and mm. it was pouring out with rain. Mm. And... um. The, the girlies were saying, um, do you know what, girl? Why are you so like, you're so happy to be outside. I said, listen, I'm used to this. One thing about the London people, we gonna, we gonna party in the rain, sun, shine, Whichever. snow. Yeah. The day that Ashaka, Ashaka came for the first time, mm. it was snowing. We were like, no, we need to organize, <laughs> B. We're gonna come out. Mm. But yes, there's another conversation I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna switch up a bit because my producer sent me notes, but um, mm. unfortunately I don't. I don't, quite, feeling, I, don't, I, I don't quite care. We don't. I want to ask you a question, mm. my good sister. I'm finished. Should we wear braids to the club? <sighs> this thing, eh? Let me just say this. This conversation is so hot and steaming. Like, steaming! 
I okay. I personally feel like you can wear braids where, wherever you want to go. Mm-hmm. There's braids that's so different. There's different styles of braids. People want to be petty, be like, "Oh, you can't wear braids. Wear whatever you feel comfortable." I don't even know why this is a conversation. So you, you're happy to wear braids in the club? I'm cool with it. You're happy to wear your natural hair in the club? Oh yeah. Ish. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, listen. I'm not gonna lie. My shrinkage is mad. Like I just can see myself, my afro, beautiful and then strong. It can just it, the the big fluffiness. Yeah. The blowout is it's, just gonna reduce. It would be like so, a new person. I'm oh scared. god damn, guys! For you guys that don't know, we um, there's been a conversation on social media mm. at the moment in which a girl basically said that it was like a it was like a meme style TikTok. Mm. And she said that um, when my girls asked to, me to come out with the club, but they know I'm wearing braids and it's like TikTok saying like, absolutely not. Now I thought about this and I don't know if it's you, but I mm. feel like I attract certain guys depending on my hairstyle. Yes. You know, you attract a different guy when you have the bust down 26 inches. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, true. It's <laughs> different. Especially for me, like when I was on dating apps, I will make sure that <laughs> I'll make sure that if I'm doing wigs, all my pictures are wigs. Really? Oh, yeah. Because I've had stupid comments. Like guys would be like, so which one is you? Or like, <laughs> so I can't tell what you really look like. Are you mad? Sorry. Are you are you foolish? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's my face change. Like I'm I'm confused. Like they're like, oh, so which one is you? So after a while I was like, you know what? We're giving the same hair. So you have like one synchronized wig. Like that one wig. I'm like, okay, this is eating. I'm going to pose. So every dating picture has to be that one wig. Maybe not that one wig, but the style. The style has to be similar. You don't want to confuse the man with them. Because you know, the brain cells are not, they're not quite there. Funny enough, I was having a conversation with Mm. Grace. And uh, Grace has gorgeous hair. Obviously, naturally Afro. Mm -hmm. Recently, she got braids. And she was literally telling me that... Um, when she has her afro, guys don't check for her. Black men, mm. it's only the white guys that check for her because you know yeah. they're quite, you know, oh that's quite yeah. funky. They like, you know, they quite like a bit of a different vibe. But let me say this, yeah, it takes about eleven to twelve hours to do braids. It takes a fucking long time. So if you're gonna wear the braids, you if you're gonna have braids in your head. You need to wear it in the snow, rain, club, everywhere. work, bus, mm. train, everywhere. It doesn't make sense to take it off just because. You want to go to the club. Let's be for real. But I'm not going to lie. I Listen, I'm in LA. I've mm. been in the club. I've been wearing my braids because I can't be bothered. I keep saying I'm tired of gluing wig, gluing mm. wig, gluing it's, wig, it's gluing so wig, much. melting, melting, <laughs> melting. Yes. I don't want to fucking do it anymore. All right. I'm fucking tired. See, the band is tight. It's just gluing, melting. Constrict. We are sick. Oh, bro, Brain it's, damage. It's getting so annoying. Listen. Sorry. Let me tell you, let me be, let me, let me say this, yeah. Let me make a public announcement. We're ready. <sighs> the wig is not my real hair. Okay? No matter how much I swoop it do, <laughs> no matter how much I glue, no matter how much I what lace, the glue, the wig is not, not real. It's not real. So every this this whole attainment is that a word? Attainment. I'm gonna add it's it to my atta- dictionary. Attainment. Yeah. This whole attainment of tr- it trying to look as real as possible. Listen, I'm not gonna be growing Brazilian yaki from my scalp. All right. Like we can see your. We can see the fr- where the front door. Uh, the, you lace. can see the dots. Yes. Yes. Because it's not my there. hair. Yeah. Dickhead. It's not, it's not my fucking hair. But what I will say is that with the braids, Mm. I don't mind wearing the braids to the club. I don't mind at all. Because guess what? The man, them are still going to check it. You get it? It's still good to it's check it. It's not even about the hair. It's about the it's individual. It's about the yash. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Listen, if I shave this head... If the and the breast pop is more. bouncing and the ass is fat. What are they going to tell me? No, like, what? Well, go on. It's still the same. Body is there. The body is there and the legs is out. Look what at, are you going to tell me? What's that girl's name? Lupita Nyong'o. She didn't have hair for so long. So long. People and are like, people are thinking so... I don't know if it got a little full of her. 
dark skinned girl like oh, Lupita. Peter. They were <laughs> singing her name. And they still do. And she's cute. And she's cute. But you know what? Can I be honest here? Yeah? I feel mm. like those type of girls that do those kind of stuff go to the club to cat for man. Do you know what cat for man is? Like, like when you are sure to find men. When you, like, you know, you, okay. When I go to the club, I don't know about you, but mm. when I go to the club, it's because I want to go out with my girls. Right. If I meet somebody, great. Mm. If someone tells me I look nice, great. But you don't go there. To but this. I don't go there with the intention. That's right. that. I'm going to need to find me a little somebody. Yeah. I feel like when, when I hear stuff like that, like the TikTok, mm. it's because she, in her mind, has conditioned herself to believe that if I'm wearing braids, guys ain't going to check for me. Because why is the braids nice enough for you to be in anywhere right. else except the club? Right. That's weird. And those are the type of girls I cannot stand. A catty, like you're going to the club and it's like, oh, so who going to buy me a drink? Who gonna buy me a drink? Right. Girl. It's, it doesn't make sense to me. Like you're there to have, especially when you're with your girls and you're going with the intention, like I'm going to find a nigga. Like, let's be for real. Of course, you know, we're, we're single girls, you know. Right. Be, let, let's just say, we want to look good. Of course, I'm mm. not saying let's not find a man. But yeah. when it's, when there's a hunger. It's starvation. It's hot. It's, it's when there's an the aggression <laughs> to it. It's like, girl, cool down. Yeah. Cool down, man. Relax. They come to you. You don't go to them. You don't go to them. Yeah. And any man or any person should accept you regardless mm. with, with whatever hairs on your head. Right. Basically. But I don't, I, I wear braids to the club. I will wear any hairstyle to the club and I'll have a good time. Yeah. If the braids is on my head and my girls are like, pull up in the, <laughs> I will step. Why Period. should I be offering my wig, the, the braids that took me 11 hours to do just so I could be accepted? And the thing is, braids are so versatile. Like you uh -huh. can do half up, half down. You can even make it look like a bust down. So I don't even... You can bust. You, you can, can bust down you can, braids. I had a whole like two, three months where I was doing um, braids because again, mm. I was tired of the gluing, gluing, gluing. Yeah. Fucking over it. They and I just ripping. Enough is enough. Enough Please. is enough. Some of you don't have any hairline, but you still want to be doing. Got to be glued. Got to be glued. Ghost bond. Ghost bond. Ghost, ghost bond. bond. Leave it be. It's ghostly. Your ghost it's... bond has. Your, now your hairline is ghosted. <laughs> now your hairline is ghosted because of the ghost bond. <laughs> it's Where is it? Find it. Still, yeah, <laughs> even on top of the ghosted hairline, you're still looking <laughs> ghost for ghost for ghost for. Dora the Explorer. Where is the edge? The edge is, the edge is, <laughs> give the edge a rest. It's tired. Do you know what I saw, funny enough, yeah? Mm. I'm big up all the girls with no edges in it because then oh they're going to come for me and be like, I'm fucking edge, <laughs> edge free because I ain't like that. So let me just, there was a thing, mm. yeah. It was a band. Mm. And on the band, there was braids. Mm. And you literally ah. just put the band mm. over. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. That, that, and then you put a cap. I see. Then that. you put yeah. a hat on it and it just. It looks real. It looks, it looks yeah. good. It looks like when you have those days in it, where it's like, you know. Quick grocery store. Quick, quick. grocery store. Mm. Sister girl has canceled the appointment. Mm. So yeah. you have to do a little bit of a one, yeah. two, three, four, five. What's your favorite hairstyle on you? Honestly, hmm, a bob. I'm a bob queen. Bobiana. Oh, love we love a, a Bobiana. Bob. I love it. Side parts bob, middle part. It just gives grown and sexy. It does. It's very grown and sexy. Yeah. But guys, without further ado, I would love to introduce my guest. First of all, I would like to say big up everybody from the United States Ooh, of America. America. <laughs> so I thought it was very important to link up with one of my favorite people from the United States. You know, for a long time, I thought you were from Canada, which is very embarrassing. Um, <laughs> very, very embarrassing. But no, she's actually from here, which actually makes the experience even more sexy. Yes. <laughs> very delicious. Very, 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 very <laughs> scrumptious. Uh, funny enough, when uh, when I did, I don't know if you saw it, but I did a Spotify, um, I did a Spotify thing and they said, who's your favorite TikToker? Did. You didn't I even did. message me. You're so fake. <sighs> My sister was in the comments screaming. You did you see it? Looked. I did. I said, yes. <laughs> I said, Jesus. People were sending it to me. I was like, my I saw no tagging. I said, oh, this guy's yeah. a just She doesn't, doesn't no, want to claim that in our joke. It's not that. But guys, without further ado, I would love to introduce my first guest in the United States. I'm ornate. She is a content creator. She is a singer. She's a dancer. 
She's a prancer. She's a gymnast. Ah. Uh, she's a hacker. I don't. She's a DJ. I don't. She is a mental health guru. Ah. She is a queen of Canada. She <laughs> is a model. She is a beauty queen. And of course, she is my motherfucking friend. Yeah. None <laughs> other than our favorite TikToker in the US. Obviously, I had to give Victor the, you know, yeah, UK. That's my UK. baby. Yeah. It's motherfucking Jawada. <laughs> let me hear your shouting. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, the echo in this room is crazy. It was like, okay, let me feel it. Jawada. Woo! Oh, I hear it. I Do you hear, hear it? it? It's yeah. like. Do, do, do you know what that echo reminded me mm. of when I went to the fucking comedy club <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> oh my god, that's another conversation for another yes. day. No, for another that's minute. But yeah. I wanted to ask, how are you? I'm great. How's like, your week been? What's your talk to me, man? What's good? <laughs> this week has been. I've been on a high. Per. You know? I think I've just been looking at myself from the outside, you know, with this all, all this content creating stuff. I'm uh -huh. just, you know, when people repost my videos and saying they love me, I'm like, thank you, thank you. It doesn't really hit me. Really? Yeah. So until I came to LA and I realized, yo, you're living it. Like, you're it, girl. Snap out of this imposter nonsense. Wow. Like, this is, this is you. Like, I feel a good overwhelmed. Just like, yeah. Do you feel like you've got imposter syndrome? A little. Talk to me. I feel like... For the longest, I've loved a lot of these influencers that I'm friends with now, especially you, you know. So it's just like, I still have this thing where it's like, you're not a fan. Like, you know, you are not, you are part, you're part of it. You know, you're walking in it. And it's like, I have to snap myself out of it. Even when I'm in places or spaces, like talking to my friends who are influencers, like sometimes I forget me and Grace are friends. And I'm like, I love you. Like, you know, she's like, be normal, be normal. Yeah, be like, cool, yo, cool down, down, yo, cool down, cool down, cool down bro. You know. And even like, you know, because Elsa, Elsa Majimbo lives with Grace as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. And just being near and just being like, oh my God, this is real, you know. But I believe this is the year of breaking those things. Like, Come are, on, somebody. This year we are breaking the imposter, imposterness. Listen, imposter syndrome is actually something that really takes me mm. Takes me where? Takes me to the king. Yeah, yeah. So I just have to say, I feel like I don't, I, I don't deal with imposter syndrome anymore. I do mm. sometimes, but I feel like at the beginning, I really um, question, do I deserve to be here? Mm. Especially with me that has come into a space and I'm quite new. Mm. And you're with people that have been in the space for, they've been here for a time, innit? And you come yes. in as a new girl um, and you're working with people who have, literally dominated the space. Obviously in the UK, we've had people like Harry Panero. We mm. have people like Philly. We have Maz and AP who at one point I grew up with. Mm. Um, and yeah. now I'm working with them. And I think sometimes I'm sitting in a room and I'm like, this is real. Um, <laughs> did they make a mistake? <laughs> no, for real. And I, and I really, I really battled that. So how yeah. are you dealing with it? I think for me, right. I've just starts to realize that God doesn't make mistakes. Per. If he wanted you there, you will be there. Yeah. And so it's just like actually remembering that these are real people. They mm -hmm. have real lives. They have a past. They've been nothing and they've been, and that now there's something. And I also am experiencing this and I'm like, I deserve this. Absolutely. I d and like, I come from a family that is very small. Like my dad's a pastor, like, Hey, I'm a church Shabbat baby. Ta -ta. Come I'm on, a church daddy. baby. So it's just like, just be like calm, reserved, humble. Don't be braggadocious. So it's like, I've just. Hold on. Yeah. You said braggadocious. Yes, I need to add that word to my. Add it. Braggadocious. Braggadocious. Yes. That's a strong word. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on, sister. <laughs> so it's just like having this humble thing, humility thing. It's like, oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, you are Jordan. Hey, be cocky. Be a little yeah. bit cocky, Let you your know? cock be big, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So I'm trying to like learn how to really walk in it and just be like, I deserve it. And you know what? Keyword on what you said about God doesn't make mistakes. There's mm. always a story that I refer back to. And it's always a story of David mm. um, and like obviously him being a shepherd and not mm. being able to, um, to being too small mm. to fight for the soldiers back mm. in them day there. Sorry, my yeah. Bible, the it's Bible okay. we narrative get is, you know, <laughs> you know the fucking yeah. story. Yeah. You go to church, innit? Um, 
but I just kind of feel like God always qualifies what's who who is the people who are perceived to be unqualifiable, but their skill set is never determined um, by kind of the grandiose of things. So mm. it's never the biggest and the strongest yes. people, or people who are deemed to be, oh, this person looks like they'll be good for this. Mm -hmm. But it's always the people who master their craft in secret yeah. and show their skills in, in other ways. And that's I feel true. like that's one of my favorite stories because it's like, just because you're not who, you're you're not the, the standard typical type of influencer, creative yeah. engineer, whatever, doesn't mean that your skill set is not something that's just as valuable as them. That's true. And I feel like that's something I struggle with a lot mm -hmm. because for me, I don't really talk about my craft much. It just, you know, people see that I post and they're like, wow, she's posted something. This is so different. Like, I don't really show my mind like mm -hmm. that. So people kind of refer to me like, oh, you know, like some, any girl, you know. So when they actually get to know me, they're like, yo, her mind is, you know, she's more than this comedy thing. Like she, she does so many things. I'm just like, yeah, that's me. And all of it is part of me, you know. And it's crazy because like. Intelligence, cute, smart, hot. Oh, yellow, my head. Sexy. I receive it. <laughs> Wonderful, big breast, cheeky. Oh. Oosh. Oosh. <laughs> and it's, everything. No, seriously. And I'm on it. But it's crazy because my, like, since I was a kid, I have a twin brother, by the way. Swear down. I, I do. And, and what do they call them in uh, Ghana? Penny and Kakra. Penny and Kakra. Yeah. So I'm the Penny. I'm the older. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, yeah, I actually probably can't, sorry, I can't stand African people because we got uh, Ken, uh, Tenny and Taiwo. Is it Kenya and Taiwo? That's what. Tenny and Taiwo. What is it? Oh, fucking hell. They're going <laughs> to vlog me in the comments. I can't remember. K yeah, Kende and Taiwo, like when you have twins. Mm, yeah. But do carry on. You're yeah, a twin. Yeah. Yes. Non identical. Fraternal, but. What's fraternal? We don't look alike. We are boy and girl. So he's yeah. a boy. So and non identical. Girl. Yeah, non identical. And. He is more reserved than I. Okay, so growing up, he was the quiet one. Mm -hmm. And I was the one that would go up to people and, you know, and then we switched. So, mm -hmm. like, at some point, I became very introverted because of, like, certain life things that happened. Mm -hmm. And so he started getting making friends and I was, like, isolated. I started to isolate myself. And that's kind of where this TikTok thing was birthed from. In my really? isolation. Yeah. So you're like, I need to talk to somebody, god damn it. Before I go crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. And my dad, he worked on radio for years. Oh, daddy? Yeah. So it was like, I couldn't run away from it. Amazing. Yeah. So I've just always known that this is who I will become. But it just took me a while. You know, the story of David, what you were saying? Yeah. I felt like that my entire life. Like the underdog, like the black sheep, like... Mm, I'll be at the back and mm. then all of a sudden I'm at the front like even with school like I was never I mean I, I knew I was good at it but I never had a desire to like be like study or like you know even my dad was like you're gonna be a doctor I was like yeah yeah oh, sure fuck him, I, Jesus Christ don't they all want us to be fucking listen, doctors and lawyers no all it? of us can how many doctors are there I don't have the brains for it like my, my fam hmm. it's continue my sister so it's just like dealing with that. I just had so much pressure to be this perfect child. And then one day I just crashed. I was like, I can't do it. So, but did you set something on fire? Because fucking hell. I set many things on fire. Not physically, but like I just felt like everybody's expectations does not matter anymore. Because I just, because like being the only girl in my family was like, you are the one who is going to cook when mommy's not there and daddy's mm -hmm. not there. You are. I have a younger brother. So it was like, Second mommy. Oh, God. Yeah. So even like with my friends, my friends will come over and be like, let's go hang out. I'm like, oh, I'm doing dishes. I can't. <laughs> I'm big up all the listen, uh, big up all the third parents and the fucking bizzle, man. It's oh, not easy, daughter, like, big up. So like dealing with that, I was just like, I don't have any more capacity in room to give to anyone. So it's your selfish season. Yeah. Would you know what? And be selfish. Yeah, yeah, should be selfish. And I hate, I guess I hate how, you know, we've been told to be, that being selfish is a bad thing. Mm. I don't really like that w word, like how people have changed the word. But yeah. I feel like sometimes like you can only pour out so much of yourself. And it's like, when you drain yourself empty, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a selfless thing to be selfish because when you're recharging yourself, you then have enough 
power, strength, and capacity to not only look look after your needs but for other people. That's true. I always say, I always, I always give this um this analogy. I'm like a lot of people are pillars in their family. Their responsibility for themselves, they're responsible mm. for um the people around them. But what happens when the pillar falls? The whole building falls. Mm. I feel like sometimes you need to recharge so that you stand for yourself and stand mm. for your family. And that's and that's what it is. But this week we have a word of the week. So we've decided to um to do a word of the week. And mm. this week is accountability. Mm. Wow. It's Eesh. accountability. And I feel like that's something that I really, really struggled with a lot because mm. it's everyone else's fault. Okay, perfect example. And this is why we chose it this week. So I realized being in LA, everyone is fucking really nice. Mm. In terms of like, so let me tell you something about London, yeah. A lot of people are like, UK is bad vibes, UK is bad vibes. Let me tell you why. Mm. Because everybody is to themselves. Mm. When we are, everyone, because it's so fast, we don't have time for interactions with other people. Everyone is about themselves, very selfish, yeah. on the way and go. So I've come into LA and I've come to my hotel mm. and I've gone into a lift mm. and this random person's like, hey, you are right over there? And I'm thinking, this is just the guy on the phone or something. <laughs> like, well, go on. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, you're right. I was like... Listen, it was a, it, was it a, was it a guy or girl? I don't know. Mm. I thought they fancied me either way. Cause it's like, yeah. you, you must want something. Yeah. Then I started realizing this is a proper thing here. Yeah. Like where people are like, hi, you, you're all right. Like, yeah. how are you? Oh my God. There was one time <laughs> mm. I went to, I went to the Grove, which is a um, fashion shopping place. Mm. And this girl in ASOS was looking at me. Mm. Listen, where I'm from, if people are looking at you, yeah, that means they're trying to want? fight, yeah. innit? So I'm looking and she, and I was like, she she was looking <laughs> me to, I was looking yeah. and she was like, I just wanted to say that you are so beautiful. And I was like, I am a fucking bitch. Yeah. Like I was like, I felt so bad because yeah. if you see the way I was looking at, like yeah. she was proper look. And I was like, what does this girl want? She's what like, you, want? you yeah. are so beautiful. Like, wow. She was even top, tapping her friend like, wow, look at her. She's so beautiful. Yeah. And I was like, a lot of people are like, UK is bad vibes, UK is bad vibes, but yeah. nobody has put their hands up to say, <laughs> I am a participant of the bad vibes. Yeah. I would like to be that person today. We to love say, the accountability. I, because <laughs> in London, we don't do, even when I was in a cab, mm. which is some um, Uber, yeah, I was right. in an Uber and um, this guy was talking, the, the Uber drivers love chatting, innit? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> like in London, it's, we don't do all that. Mm. There's even an option to tell them to not talk. Yeah. Do you know, I don't know if you, you have do it, it here. You, you do it here. Yeah. Well, they need to send that. Yeah. <laughs> like literally there's some, especially the, with the job I do, mm. I, my social battery runs the fuck out. So when I finish doing that, ah, 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 as yeah. soon as I get home, I try not to speak because that's my job. Should I be speaking 24 hours? It's okay. So obviously got in the cab. I am tired. And the guy's like, yeah. So the first thing he said to me was, um, what does this fucking guy say to me? He was like, oh, do you know that your rating, your your star rating is 4.4? And so <laughs> Uber t- I said, what did I do? He said, listen, usually you're a young girl. And when you do that, listen, the Uber driver's not gonna come and find you at the at the end of the night when it's like 1 p.m. You, I'm just letting you know, I'm gonna give you five stars. And I've said, okay, thank you. Yeah. And then he just kept going on about, oh yeah, so where are you from? And I said, fucking oh, hell, gosh. here we fucking go in it. <laughs> fucking hell. I'm tired. Let me rest. And I was like, and you know when you're trying to cut it? Mm-hmm. It's like London. Yeah. And then he was like, oh yeah, you know, I've never been in London, but I want to be there. And you yeah. know, I'm just trying to be a free spirit, but don't worry, I'm going to give you five stars. Now I'm trying to have engaged in the conversation because yeah. I don't want him to give me one star exactly. in it. Because yeah. obviously now I learned I'm a 4.4. 4. Like I'm not yeah, trying to make it 4.3. Yeah. Like you get me? Like mm-hmm. I don't want to you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so he's going on and on and on and on and on. And then he's like, yeah, you know, we only have one life. Like, life is so short oh, ever, si- ever since my brother died. And I was like, oh, fucking gosh. no, shit, man. I said, but brother, really? brother died as well. Why do I need to know this? I said, not even why do I need to know. I started feeling a bit bad. I was like, yeah. fucking no, no, I really got to listen in, don't yeah. I? 
Because <laughs> yeah, the sub, now it's from the sub <laughs> story. Yeah. Now my consciousness mm. kicking in now. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I re- I think that's when I realized that. And then he, he did say something. He's like, life is too short. You know, just to be good to everyone, just be nice. And I was yeah. like, you know what? It's true. You're right. Yeah. Fucking hell. So I feel like when I'm going to go back, I'm going to try be nicer to, like, instead of hi, you know, I'm not going to, sometimes I wait, like, I wait for people to come to me and I'm like, oh my God, hi, because Mm -hmm. I'm just, I guess there's a bit of social anxiety as Mm. well. I'm a bit anxious with people, but I think Mm. I'm going to really try to be, to be nicer to people. Are you an accountable person? That was the longest fucking story. (laughs) I loved it though. I I was imagining, Yeah. yeah. I think I am. I think I'm too accountable. Go on. Like... I think sometimes I give people too much, what is it, chip on the chin? Chin on the chip, one of those things. And <laughs> and it's just like, with friends especially, it's like, if someone does something to me, I'm like, you know what? I'll give you a chance. It's okay. I'll, I, there was a point where I used to apologize for people, like the way people would treat me. I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you acted a fool. <laughs> like, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. And so it took me a while to realize if someone can be accountable to you, leave them alone. You don't always have to be the one, you know. And I think I'm a pretty accountable person. I like, love that for you. I feel yeah. like we have two different perspectives. You being accountable to the even to the extension of someone else. Yeah. And then me, I would say my accountability has definitely been better. Mm. Um, I feel like growing up, I just thought I was just very angry at the world. Yeah. And just and I and I felt like sometimes lack of accountability really stunts your growth yeah. as a person. If you constantly feel like you're not doing anything wrong, yeah. then you are never going to have change in your life. Yeah. Because you every nobody's perfect. True. Nobody's perfect. So if you have the awareness to recognize your imperfections then you yeah. have the ability to change them that's true and that's what that is what then advances you mentally physically spiritually because yeah. you can then see fault and then from seeing fault you can then change you can then adapt yeah listen you don't have been listen. looking at her dad's son and i've been listening in you don't know that's her daddy's words you are because <laughs> the whole time i was like who is this that's how that is so I've been no. looking at I've been looking at I've been listening, listening I've been listening to Daddy Simon on a Sunday. I love it. But I think non-accountable people prey on people who are, who are accountable because yes. they, they have this like, oh, because you are so nice and you are always doing things, I'm going to take advantage of you. Like, yeah, I could apologize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could, you know. But I choose not to because you're going to allow me to walk over you. It's very much a pride thing. I feel like lack of accountability sometimes. There's two types of people that they're too proud to admit Mm. that they're wrong or people who cannot literally see they're in the wrong. And I feel like the second person is fucking scary. Yeah. If you can't see, (laughs) you know those people that it's like the sky is blue. No, it's green. The sky is fucking blue. It's right in front of you. Mm, Yeah. No, it's green. No, Look, you know what's worse? Where they are like, for example, if someone says, "You look like a goat," okay, you look like a goat, and then and then I'm like, "What do you mean? It's not funny to me. You you offended me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I'm sorry that I offended you, but I don't see anything wrong with what I said." That's a housewife apology. That is madness. People do that. I have realized that you cannot dictate how somebody takes something that you've said just because you don't think it's offensive doesn't mean it's not it really really and truly i've had to and that's not that's when one number less there because me there's there's some fucking people on the internet that really <laughs> irk me yeah i'm not rude i'm just super honest if you don't I'm like it you don't rude. like it if like, you don't if you don't like honesty Again, spirit of lack of accountability, <laughs> die by fire. Let me yeah. tell you something. There is a way to communicate without offending people. And if you're offending people, it means you need to work on the communication. Yes. It's not the person's fault. Mm. There's a way to say you like or you don't like something without right. being rude. It's not being, on- you could be honest and be nice, right. you know. Jesus done it. You can do it. <laughs> Jesus Lord done it. Lord and did it. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, he done it. Listen. And he's the master of all. So yeah. if there's a way to be nice and mm. honest, please Jeez. learn it. All this, I'm not re- When did honesty become being offensive? 
or strength. to look cool or like whatever, like be accepted. Like who cares? But this is the growth. And this is why we're having this word of the week. Because mm. it's very, it lacks like, accountability is very important. I mm. feel like a lot of times people think that it's for the other person. But mm. some t- I feel like learning this kind of stuff is for yourself. Because it allows you to have better relationships, better friendships. Mm. It allows you to not take things so seriously. I feel like when I started to realize people were not perfect, mm. I didn't really start holding things. I always say to people, I, I don't tend to hold things or be upset mm. because I, I I like giving grace to people because mm. I realized one day I'm going to upset you all. That time you offended me, I need the same action. It's true. I don't hold I don't hold people because there's some people that, ah, you did this to me. That you said that mm-hmm. to me. And I'm like, okay, cool. When I call you a dirty bitch, the <laughs> just next time, you. <laughs> please, I need the same respect yeah. because people are always going to fault you. But I just hope that I get the same, um, the same grace as I give to people. I remember there was this one time, it was, I think my 21st birthday or something. I invite, you see, this is the thing. You don't invite all your friends into one thing. That's another conversation. Different personalities. Uh-huh. So there's this one friend I had. She was very close to me. You know, I even, she said her phone died. I gave her my charger on my birthday. And she, <laughs> she came empty handed. She not bring me any gift. I said, okay, we swallow that one. <laughs> Tell me how we are all going out after the dinner. She's like, you know, I'm not coming with you guys. I'm going to take a cab. I'm going home. I said, cool. She now sent me a dirty text. I no longer want you to be my friend because... Uh, you uh, you don't choose me nonsense I'm not your boyfriend be for real so be fucking for real I remember that night I was so uh, uh, I've never the friend who I went with she said I was afraid of you <laughs> I'm not really someone who cares mm-hmm. I said you beep 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 you are a beep 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 I sent her this nasty voice notes after that I said hmm, this is not me it's not you that's not, not my me. class yeah I hear it. Like in the moment you let it out, you're like, it feels good. But then after you're like, mm. this is not me. Yeah. I don't do all the rah, rah, rah yeah. thing. It's okay. And I hate when people get you to that level. Mm. I f- again. It's always the nice people. They always try to get the quiet. Oh, she's quiet. She's calm. But when she goes ballistic, you're going to be like, oh gosh, what set her off? What made her mad? <sighs> she came to a point of like, you know, this is over. Like, I can't Listen, do it. they never remember the times that you were patient. They never remember the times where you were nice. They never. they never remember the times where you were understanding. But they will always remember the times where you went crazy. It's true. They never remember the times when you were simmering. Mm-hmm. But they remember the when times you're where boiling. you hit your boiling point. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to read some yeah. stuff to help for accountability just very quickly. Mm. Um, don't make excuses. I always say Period. that in every situation, everyone has a part to play. Whether that's 1%, 2%, 3%, your reaction could have been different. Your mm. response could have been different. Take accountability. Don't make excuses. Mm. No one is 100% wrong or 100% right. Number two, stop playing victim. Oh, producer, you ain't got to do them like that. This one is deep. Yeah. Many individuals who play victim tend to blame their anger Oh, producer, you ain't got to do that. (laughs) Producer, you didn't have to say that. Listen, producer said, Mm. many individuals who play victim tend to blame their anger on past traumas and project them onto current situations. To prevent this, take informed steps to heal your past through counseling and other ways that are suitable for you. That way you stop allowing your past to have power over your present. Mm. Listen. Because my ex, my ex was this, him, my ex best friend. I don't freaking care. Listen, <laughs> don't tell me you were rude to me because your daddy beat you when you were six. That's not my concern. Listen. I'm not your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> my condolence, you know, and it's like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we sympathize with you. We sympathize with you. We <laughs> sympathize. <laughs> No, and this, we're not, and the thing is not, we're not trying to victim blame or do anything. Yeah. Like, your, you know, it's justified. It's what, so valid. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I feel like you might not have control of your past. Mm-hmm. I've spoken openly, op- I said openly, <laughs> openly about mm-hmm. my um, abusive uh, domestic uh, background, mm-hmm. but I do not allow my past to define the decisions I make right. here. I'm not going to be going to punch punch up people because I've come from a place of punching up. Exactly. That's not how you deal with life. Mm. If you have had past traumas, 
please go and seek someone, but do not allow them for you. Do not allow them to have uh, power over you to then affect your relationships now because you have the choice to make now. We've all suffered. If we talk about... we. If we, I don't want to be going on about <laughs> the things that we've been through and I've been through because of time. Yeah. But we've all been through hell, yeah? Mm-hmm. But that do not allow your past to, to define, define you. who you mm-hmm. are. If I allowed my past to define me, God is watching me, I would be in jail. No, seriously. I'm serious. No, I would be in jail. I would have <laughs> sliced up someone. I swear to no, God. That, that's the honest truth. Because... Anyways, yeah, that's another we conversation. Will go mad. They, they, will go, they will go They will lock me in, in HMP. Her uh, Majesty's prison. I will be there. Psychiatry. Or they will put me in psychos. I swear yeah. to God, I would have been shipped to Nigeria. One of those <laughs> shipped prison mental uh, mental hospitals. Listen. One of those two, they would have caught me and I would have been locked up somewhere <laughs> there still. And finally, uh, learn to well, learn when to put your pride aside. That was a big issue for me. Mm. Pride is a big problem. You don't give me, you don't give me pride vibes. No, I mean I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but Tooted. listen, I'm not I'm not somebody that like even when good things happen to me, you will never hear me say, "Oh yeah, I'm big." Like you know, I I don't come from a place of that. Like I come from a place of experience, and you're always learning. Like even if I am at the top, I'm like, yeah, I'm still learning. Yeah, maybe I've won. Yeah, I've won. We acknowledge it, but there's still more to learn. I you think know? Ghanaian people tend to have quite that reserved yeah. humility. It's us Nigerians that's always <laughs> shouting. Because pride pride for me and being proud is very much in my DNA. There's some Ghanaians. You know the Ashanti people in Ghana? They're known to be super prideful. Ashanti? Yeah, the Ashantis. Deal yeah. with yourself, you silly billies. <laughs> Deal with yourself. That is disgusting. Yeah. Don't be proud. Because they are the, you know, they say when the British came to Ghana, they are the royalty, you know, the British came to them first. And B- the British came to y'all first to colonize y'all. Y'all yeah, happy? And you loved it. Oh. Oh, good for you. Oh. <laughs> so they came to you first to colonize y'all. That's how you're shouting you on the clapping. street. <laughs> oh. That's a mistake. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Okay, yeah, so let's move on <coughs> because of time. Mm. We are going to play our game, you already know. Before we play mm. our game, we have a special song here. Let me take a zip. <laughs> Do you know this song? Oh, not familiar. This is the song that I we're going to sing. Guys, if you haven't already liked, comment, and subscribed. Do that. Are you even a bad boy? Are you even a bad girl? Can I even bad acknowledge you? piece of you? information. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Here they go. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all, you, like, it was the attempt. Mm, yeah. I think one, every time I open my mouth, somebody likes to try and do my accent from here. Every time I'm like, I'm from Britain. They're like, in it, in uh, it. I'm not going to lie. I do it so I can't even I know. shout. I know. Mm. If I was, I was about to, I was about to say very dark humor, but I'm not going to do it because I'm a Christian woman. So oh, okay. I was going to get it dark. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fucking do it. But yeah, I've got a song for you. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Whoa. Oh, I'll beat, on beat. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. You, okay. Wait, how we, how we doing it? Should I okay. clap? Don't forget to subscribe, okay. subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Ajay. Subscribe, subscribe. Jay, whoa, whoa. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Do freestyle. Subscribe, subscribe. Yes. If you don't, you are a big fool, big fool. Yes. Monkey, monkey, go and subscribe, subscribe. Yes, Ajay. Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe. Ho. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> The album is coming. Whoa! It's coming. I ain't a fucking Joe Wilder Bob Buckler remix of that. Uh, Ay, shit. That was a str- No. She said, uh, she said, monkey, monkey. I don't even know what that was. They need to fucking mon- play that. I don't remember. Listen, listen, guys. Improv. Improv. Subscribe. Make sure you fucking do. Do that. Do you know what? Yeah. Can I just say, I need to fucking go gym because why has that... <sighs> why New Year resolution. Do you know what? Why would, did that make me out of breath? Do you know what? I've been finding recently that when I walk and talk, yeah, 
I'm out of breath. Fucking hell. How does Beyonce sing and dance and then it's not wait, wait, in the mic? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm on the phone and I'm walking uphill, yeah. It's not I can't breathe. No, even when I'm sitting down, people are like, why are you? What's going on? Like... I keep, do you know what? Yeah, it's gone to the point where I have to say publicly, yeah, Mm -hmm. if you're looking to have sex with me, don't feel like, don't just know, don't feel like you're going to get any (laughs) fucking acrobats from me. I am a pillow princess, all right? (laughs) Um, I don't fucking do, I don't be busting up no one's dick. I don't be doing no splits on no one's dick, yeah. That's it, all right? That's that's all you're going to fucking get. And I'm going to say it so that no one can be, no one can be upset. Mm. We respect it. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking hell, mate. You know, how do you feel? I know you're asking the question, but... Go and talk to me. How do you feel about carrying, you know, you know, it's like, I want my husband to carry me and my boyfriend to carry me. How do you feel about that? Do you want a man who can carry you? Yeah, so... Period. Carried me. Carry. Carry me. And they're altered in the eyes. And if you can't carry me, go to gym, bruv. You have to. Go why to are your legs weak as a man? Trust me, why is your ankle snobbly? You dickhead, bruv. Why are you shaking? Why are they shake? Be strong. Have you seen that video of the guy that's singing backpack, backpack, mm. and he's trying to carry mm. his girl, and the guy is fighting for his life, bro. He's literally that you can see the veins <laughs> popping. If anyone follows me on Instagram, the guy and he's trying to play it cool. Oh, that's good. the thing. That's the funny thing about guys. Yeah, there will be. There was one time I went to uh, what was that? I was at Wireless, and this guy, mm. this guy, yeah put his girlfriend on his neck ah. and he was <laughs> the thing is yeah because the girl's having a good time yeah, yeah. she was yeah. like yeah yeah obviously I can see everything yeah. bruv he was holding her yeah and his legs were doing <laughs> it's not by force let his go and let go the girl didn't look that heavy the guy yeah. was doing this and I swear the guy had her on her neck for like 30 seconds in it so me being a dickhead he's like what you can't hold your girl off for that love now nah. like <laughs> fuck <laughs> it now what's going on I'm the guy was fighting for his life bruv yes. he was fighting for his life go to jail Anyways, guys, we are gonna play a fucking game. You already know we are gonna play win or bin. So the name of the game is I'm gonna give you a topic of conversation. You're gonna tell me whether it's a win or a bin and bin as in garbage, yeah? Garbage. Period. (laughs) Should we swap accents? No, I'm joking. No, you're not gonna. I always be scared. (laughs) I always be I always be scared, Don. I think I have quite a good American accent. What is that? Um, it's (laughs) from some sort of state. Um Maybe Idaho. Idaho or California. Nyard. Is the Nyard for me? <laughs> I mean, I still have to keep it G to me. It's something. I'm not sure where this, where could this accent be from? I'm giving Costa California. Rica. It could, I think it could be like California or somewhere quite like that. It's giving somewhere vegan. hot. It's giving, um, I, it's Pilates. giving Pilates. It's yeah. giving Camp. sushi. It's Can't, giving. There, there's poor people. It's giving. Oh my god! Who is that on the tan? Like no, literally. Like ill. Like I have an appointment to do my hair, my nails. Like, can like, you guys come out of the way? Like you're actually smelling the whole I'm world. I'm scared. It's actually good. Is it good? Yeah. Hey, yes. Fucking yeah. hell! Listen. <laughs> She's gassed. Listen. Fucking hell! Listen. You don't know. I've got talent. Anyways, let's go. You ready? Win or bin? Win or bin? Kneeling down for your elders so for you guys that don't know anyone that is that is not asian i think i think asian people kneel down yeah. or and anyone that's white basically basically there's a thing in certain asian and black cultures not jamaican because y'all bomb buckle everyone but sorry <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> sorry apologies i couldn't help it i'm half jamaican so it's okay mm, fun fact fun fact <laughs> But yeah, basically it's when if you're greeting someone who's older than you, mm. you will have to think do this thing called dobale. So you have to kneel for them. Or if oh, you're a man, you have to put your chest to the floor. Like it's oh, a yeah. sign of respect. Um do you do that in the Ghanaian culture? Not really. I don't think you do. I, I mean, think it's just a Nigerian thing. Yeah, I think we do like a ketsi. Like a curtsy. Like kind of bend your knee yeah you have to look cool I think you bend your knee there's sometimes like in our culture we bend our knee but there's some dickheads in it do you know what I mean that will make you do the full knee to the ground in it I've seen people do it on like on YouTube and stuff but no I don't think it's necessary not gonna lie I was on the bus yeah Mm -hmm. and I saw one boy in the middle of Peckham High Mm Streets yeah do ballet to his auntie at the bus stop in fucking (laughs) (laughs) My thing is that I think 
people should be understanding like obviously in the middle of the bus stop why now nah, big man thing like it's not that deep you there's some wait. like proper double like, as in finger to the floor is it a win or bin for you okay i say it's a bin because i think that Sometimes it can be unreasonable because it's like, oh, wherever we are, I really not shine. Like, you know, mm-hmm. so I definitely think it's something just because it's just like not reasonable. I hear it. I, I understand like maybe like on the wedding day or greasing the family, like, you know, that kind of traditional. So thing. you think it's certain times and places. Yeah. I hear it, you know. But respect the culture. So Respect the culture always. And I feel like um, for me, now I'm at an age where, sorry, I'm grown now. I'm not bending. To, I'm not bending to you unless you're old. I can't even lie to you. Unless yeah. you're like 50 plus years. Sorry. So how, what's the age like that you have to. That's with? what I'm saying. Guys, when is the age that we <laughs> stop doing it? Because the thing is, yeah, I remember one time I dubbed led to a woman mm. and she's like fucking 30. I'm 25. No. Why am I still bending to necessary. you? When, there needs to be, it's, we need to come with a universal age yeah. where we stop doing it. Yeah. Because you're not my older anymore. Do you get? So I only yeah. do it to people that visibly look old. Yeah. Or someone that you have this like high respect for, like, I don't know, a chief or something. Yeah, like my pastor. Like for example, my pastor, I still mm. bent him because that's my guy. You get yeah. me? Like I'm a, be- I'm a double. Like, that's yeah. my, that's my king. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> there's the king in this day. This is my <laughs> yeah. king. So I was still double as to him and his wife because mm. I just respect them. They, 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 they're my olders. But I remember when I used to do care. Mm. And sorry, the aunties, the aunties who were like working with me. Sorry, mm. I'm not doubling to you, like fam. Like what? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think, like you said, it's a time and a place. Yeah. But the minute you start doubling to people at your workplaces, the day that you failed, because then but, they will now use you as Aaron, Aaron boy and Aaron girl. No, yes, it's it's too much. I think it just depends on you know, but to do it everywhere to with everyone, mm-hmm. mm, not necessary. But re- I mean, respect people's cultures. I mean, definitely, yeah. if it's something where I'm, I've come into maybe my friend's house. Mm-hmm. Or my partner's house, and that's still a requirement in their home. I would adhere to it. Yeah. But if I'm just being introduced willy nilly, uh, jilly, I would just. Yeah. It depends. It really is. It really is the time. Uh, the the time and place. Yeah. I think it's a win until whichever situation. Yeah, whichever situation. But if they're elderly, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's a win. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's a win. Okay. Next one. Win or been sending money abroad for family members. Eesh. My cousins are watching this one. Um, this is a very tenacious topic. Come on, talk to me. I think that sometimes they really need to be taken a piss. Like the family abroad, every two seconds, can you send me money because I'm I'm this? I need a computer for this. Do you think I'm rich? Mm-hmm. Who said I was Bill Gates? You know, I'm gonna say when because it's necessary because like that's your family and mm-hmm. you're here, but. Not everybody. No long cousin from nowhere should come and contact me. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm your cousin from your uncle's aunties. Not, not necessarily. I don't know you. I don't. I've never seen you. So I, I feel like people abroad think that oh. we are really, really fucking caking it here. I know in, in where I'm from. Like I don't. I don't have any family abroad. Funny enough, I don't mm. have any. I've got two. My mom has two brothers mm. back home, but majority of us are here in it. Okay. But I know a lot of people who um, send money back home, and mm. they really think that we're in the land of fucking gold. Yeah. That we're actually stepping on on rubies and diamonds like we're in heaven. Like when we tell them that we're suffering, they're like, oh, it can't be that bad. The suffering is different though. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like here, like when I see homeless people, your homeless people people make our homeless people look classy. I'm not gonna lie, I can see that. Yeah. Like our homeless people are proper classy compared really? to yours. They're not like I remember when I was in downtown LA like couple couple years ago, I remember I saw one man. So the guy looked like he had just been grabbed by a lion, bruv, torn up. <laughs> and he was just shouting on the road, yeah. Hey! Hey! I'ma get I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I think it's an LA thing though. And I was like, bruh, <laughs> like the, the the homeless people here, yeah. have you got a spare change, please? I'm scared of Have them. you got spare change? Yeah. Like they're not gonna be running up in your face yeah. in London. In that that in, in LA, they'll be talking to themselves on the high street. Yeah. Our ours is very prim and proper. Yeah. They won't be doing all of that. In North, because I'm from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. In North Carolina, the homeless people have two outfits. The outfit they're going to beg in. 
they after they are traveling to go and beg. Let me tell you how classy <laughs> the homeless people in the UK are. I have the perfect story. Mm-hmm. So I was on the train, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, there was this guy who was barefoot running, excuse me, somebody <laughs> help me. I need to, because obviously they, they they apparently collect money to to stay in a hostel. Mm. Um, and it's like, excuse me, please, somebody help, somebody help me. Help me, I just need some food, I need some change, anything, please. So there's this Asian guy on the train, he's mm. sitting across to me mm. and um. He's rummaging through his bag. Mm. And one weird thing about this homeless guy, he will do this thing where he will stop. Mm. And he will, you know, when someone stops in front of you and you just feel a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. So he's done that in it. So it's like making the guy feel uncomfortable. Mm. So the guy's gone and fucking pulled out a can of soup. Mm. And he's like, here you go. Here's this can of soup. Yeah. The homeless guy has stopped crying, has taken it has looked at him and he's like, well, how, what am I going to do with that? You're kidding me. And fucking gives it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> I swear oh, to yeah. God, the guy gets it <laughs> <laughs> The guy gives it back to him. He broke character. <laughs> he bro- I swear. And then, he pres- as he's walking, <laughs> that's madness. <laughs> I was watching it and I was like, wow. Yeah, acting school, yeah. Wow, they trained this one, boy. Yeah. The homeless people are so classy, they give food back. There was one time where, there's one time where I, I was, usually I, I tried to help homeless people. I try mm. not to give them money. I'd be like, where do you want to, where do you yeah. want to go and eat? <clears throat> and there was one homeless guy in Bedford and, um, Obviously, I've taken him to a chicken and chip shop, yeah. Mm. Obviously, chicken and chips is like, what, three pounds? I swear to God, this man ordered 15 pounds, 20 pounds worth of food. He was like, yeah, can I have ch- chicken nugget? This, can I have chips? You can't open your mouth this? To And he's like, no, I don't want that. He's, no, so <laughs> <laughs> you can't option. He, he, he was even given <laughs> options. I said, wow, the homeless people are bougie yeah. here. Fucking yeah, no. Talk your shit. <laughs> talk your shit. <laughs> That's yeah. the real, those are the, with the Queen's yeah. people, the Queen's there people. Was, there was a time where um, there was this lady in our city. She, so everybody knew that she was pregnant, but the thing was, she's been pregnant for a long time. So people were like, ah, this woman has been pregnant for about two years. <laughs> like she, the, the, the stomach is still hard. Like it looks like, you know, and she was a homeless, like she would beg and stuff. One day, I guess somebody was feeling bold, went and I guess see the stomach. <laughs> they opened the stomach and said, ah, what's this? Balloon? What's this? Like, it's not, it's not. Yeah. I think they arrested him. It's fraud. It's fraud. Fab, have you ever been frauded by a homeless person? <laughs> I yeah, have. Actually, I can't think of that. So... There was a time, yeah, I was coming back from London, and this is when I lived in Bedford. Mm. And there was a woman who was proper on the frantic thing at the train mm. station. She was like, somebody help me. <laughs> somebody help me. Somebody help me. And I said, okay, me being the savior of everybody. I said, oh, are you all right? She's like, listen, I can't get, I can't get to Nottingham. Oh my God. My, somebody stole my bag. I need the bag. I went to the police station because I was in hospital. What did she say? Somebody stole my bag. Mm. And that, I was visiting my mum in hospital mm. and that I went to the police station and they're looking, but I've got no way to get back to Nottingham. Mm. These times it was 11 o'clock from the barriers were open, innit? it? And I was like, the barriers are open. You could just, there's no tickets. But no, I need to get on. I need to get on. Mm. So I think I had cash. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had cash and um, I gave her like maybe 50 pounds. Mm-hmm. It was like a 60 pound ticket. Mm. And then what happened? I gave a £60 ticket, yeah. I should have known when I bought the ticket. And she was like, oh, can I have an extra fiver to have a cigarette? Uh, I should have known yeah. that that woman <laughs> is defrauding me. <laughs> and it's so bad because I went back home, yeah. And I was like, mum, I did a really good thing today, you know. <laughs> and my mum was like, you got finessed. <laughs> and I could not believe it. I said, no, yeah. I literally, I was like, nah, mum, like you're just yeah. being bad vibes. I did the good Christian thing, yeah. yeah. Three weeks later, mm-hmm. I was walking around the town centre and I saw the same woman and she was like, have you got a pound, please? I could have banged her. 
and she did not recognize me, this fucking bitch. I could have banged her in the face. They don't grow. They are always the same age every year. It's always a, always about 42, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Around that age. Yeah. They never after 42. Yeah. They just, just stayed the same. It's it's crazy. Sorry, we've gone on a big fucking tangent. I don't <laughs> no, even know where the win. Where was the winner been? Where was it? Where are we? <laughs> How did we get sending money abroad? Yeah. How did we get right. here? I don't did I even say yes? You said yeah, you win. said win yeah. to not upset your family members yeah. in um in Ghana. <laughs> so big up them. I'm gonna say win because it's always good to help people. I'm always for helping people, but not that at the expense of your own. Yeah. Cocktails and takeaways. So I'm gonna quickly move on because we have another game. Mm. This is a very important game on our show. Nobody has beat the game. Wow. Hopefully, you will be the first. Oh, yeah. I'm always I praying for people. Yeah. It's not happened. So we are going to play a game in which we ask our co-hosts cultural questions. Mm. This is the Jesus. official cultural questionnaire. This is... Are you smart? Ha. Jerona. My IQ is showing today. <laughs> are you smart? Yes, I'm bored today. I'm uh, yes, I'm smart. The confidence is sexy. I am smart. Thank you. So this is the name of the game. I'm gonna give you ten questions. Gosh. You can only give me one answer. You can't tell me, <laughs> Becky, um, Susie, um, Adam, can I Google? Jacob. No, you oh absolutely gosh. cannot. And we are gonna lock in your first answer. If you get ten, I'm gonna lips you. Okay. No one's done ten. <laughs> okay. In the history of cocktails Today and is takeaways. That. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And you can't phone a friend, so everyone here don't even fucking try it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Question number one. The seasoning paprika is made from ground what? Jesus. Holy Spirit hits me now. Do I have a time? It's ticking B. Kayan. Sorry. Wow. Can, can I do another? Can I see another? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in character. Wait, Sorry. Paprika. I need to get into character. What is the Greek of Greek word of paprika? Pap. Paprika. The seasoning paprika mm. is made from ground what? <clears throat> I will say habanero. Jabanero? No, wait. Yes, that's my final answer. I can't lie. What's habanero? Oh, it's a pepper. It's like red pepper. You guys you... call it um, what's it called? You the red pepper you put in the soups and stuff. Are you going to lock that in? Yes, I lock it. I sanctify it. That is correct. Well done. Huh? That is correct. You are joking me. I laughed at your first question, answers I could take it, but you're actually right. It is red peppers. It's right. Oh, wow. It's right, I've right? I'm a boy. It's right. I've shocked myself. When you said Kayan, I said, nah, no, sorry. I wasn't thinking. I didn't allow my brain Do you know to. what? I'm going to give you that because I, I broke character. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's a mistake. Question number two. Which of these male names are the most popular globally? Mm. Mohammed or Noah. Okay, when we look at scientifically, which continent is more popular? Mohammed or Noah? I would say Noah. Are you going to lock that in? No. Mohammed. Are you going to lock that in? Yes. Yes. Yes, I've locked that in. Oh. <laughs> Why did that hit you so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Jawoza. Yes, babes. That is correct. Well ah. done. It is Mohammed. Mohammed is the most popular name for boys globally, followed by Noah. Oh, I mean this game. Question number three. What's it? What is the largest ocean in the world? What is the name of the largest ocean in the world? Are you giving me option? Absolutely not. 
Ha! Okay. Let's see. We have Atlantic Ocean. We also have which one again? Transatlantic. I did the same for me. I would like to go with Atlantic Ocean. Are you locking that in? I lurk. Wait, hold on. Can you help phone a friend? No, you say you can't phone a friend. Absolutely not. Atlantic. You're locking it in? I have my head down, but yes. I'm locked. That is incorrect. I knew the it. The answer is the Pacific Ocean. Oh, gosh. It was at the tip of my tongue. It didn't land. It did not. It's okay. It's okay. Question number four. Complete yeah. the popular saying. Empty blank. Make the most blank. Of course. I know it. What and, is it? Okay. Empty barrels make the most noise, Your Honor. Are you locking that I in? I lock and I sanctify it. I swallow the key. <laughs> Easy peasy, great stuff. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know the meaning. Those with the least wisdom and knowledge are always the most talkative. I never knew how to contain. Yeah. Right. True. Question number five. What is the name of the unkind teacher from the story? Matilda. Ah, uh, I recently just watched this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and piece her name together. Miss Wombodov, Miss Dumbowar, Miss Bombowod. No, I know it's not that. Miss Wombolo. Wombolomo, Wombolomo, Wombolomo. No. I quit. I don't know. Okay, I will say Miss Lombodo, Dumbolo, Dumbowod, Wombodov. Listen, I, I, forgive me. That's the best I can do. What, what? are you locking in? Miss Wom... Oh, gosh. Wombo Dog, Your Honor. We are locking in Miss Wombo Dog. Yes, Dog. That is correct. Huh? Well, Sorry. That, no, I'm just fucking with you now. Nice <laughs> no, like, there's no way that's possible. It's not fucking right. Everybody was looking at me like, girl, that's your girl, man. No, it's not. No, it's, Miss, it's uh, Mrs. Trunchbull. Ah, so where am I Miss getting Trunchbull. Wombodor from? I have no clue, queen. I think queen. because of the bolts, I'm thinking like the O. Right. Question number six. <laughs> Question number six. Finish the lyrics. Them say them bad, but I swear them do nothing them say they go uh throw me punch mm. but i swear them no reach mm -hmm. is it okay if i sing it of course you can <clears> sing <throat> it them say them bad but i swear them do nothing no hey them say they will throw me punch but i swear they don't reach oh hey sexy sing. <sighs> The devil is a liar. Wait. Sexy girl yeah, and oh. Mm. Sexy girl. Yeah. Wait. Them say them bad, but I swear them do not reach. Oh. Them say they go throw me punch, but I swear they don't reach. Oh. Sexy. Plenty. <coughs> plenty. Plenty doesn't fall my left. I quit. I will not put my brain through that. I know it's like plenty, plenty they will for my life. They say they say them bad, but I swear them do not reach out. Them say they go throw me punch, but I say they don't reach out. Why is it? Why are you so high up? <clears throat> them say them bad, but I swear okay, they... Okay, go back. <clears throat> them say them bad, but I swear they... Plenty. Aha. Uh -huh. Plenty. Plenty they say for my life. Plenty they say for my life. I know it's plenty, plenty something. I quit. So what are you locking in? Plenty then ding da da da. Okay, we are locking in plenty da 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 <laughs> da. 
that is incorrect. The answer is 20 men <sighs> shall fall. Ah, Yakata. The I day. Knew it. Wait, is it 20 men shall, shall fall? fall and day if day you cross, cross my lane, lane, no way. Can I get it? Because obviously. No, okay. no, not quite. 20 men shall fall that day. Yeah, if you cross my lane. That is whisked back to the matter. Yeah. So. I'm embarrassed. It's okay. You were confident about the plenty. Why was I? No idea. <sighs> no idea. But you know what? You're still looking great. Is this camera on me? <laughs> You're still looking great. <laughs> so let's move on to question number seven. Mm. True or false? The Bible has 76 books in total. <clears throat> Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Apostle, Romans, Second, Second, uh, Corinthians, Titus, Ephesians, Hebrew, James, First and Second, Thessalonians, First and Second, uh, Leviticus, Judah, Revelation. No, false. Genesis, Exodus, Hebrews. I will say. I will say. <laughs> False. That is correct. Mm -hmm. It is false. It has 66 books in total. Mm -hmm. Not that you said them right. I didn't. I know. But you. It you helped can... me jog my memory of what it could have been. Yeah. But pick up you. Thank you. I'm sure Pastor Daddy would be very proud of you. Oh, he's going to be so proud. Super proud. That first part, not really, but. I don't even know what that is. Listen, um, you got it. You hey, got it. Hey, hey. Question number seven. We are nearly done. I'm seeing the confidence. I hope that confidence, that one has given you more confidence to finish. Right. Question number eight. Oh, no. Yes, question number eight. Name the movie featuring Corbin Blue and Kiki Palmer who play teenagers participating in a double Dutch competition. <clears throat> Jump in. Are you locking that in? I lock it and I sanctified. Easy peasy. Correct. Yeah, well crazy. done. Yes, jump in. Yeah. That's that was a good movie. Yeah, that was a very was. good movie. Right, question number nine. Who rivaled Bow Wow in his 2021 versus battle? Was it in a movie or real life? Who rivaled Bow Wow? in his 2021 versus battle. His 2020, ooh. <clears throat> oh, Marion. Are you locking that in? Yes, Your Honor. Every time I hear you swallow, yeah, she takes me out. Why do you swallow so fucking loud? Why do you swallow so fucking loud? Sorry. Jesus Christ. The anxiety is in Oh, God. Wait, did you lock it in already? It's incorrect, though, still. Okay. What Sorry. Was it? The answer is Soldier Boy. Why didn't I think of this? Soldier Boy, tell him. That was a very infamous wow. uh, versus yeah. battle. And last, last, last question. Name the couple who won last summer's UK Love Island. <clears throat> Ingiart and... Yeah, what's that way? Is it Dami? No, it's not Dami. Ike. Oh, India and Dami. Are you locking I that lock it. in? I lock it. This is your final question. I lock it. How confident are you feeling? I'm at the top, at the apex. I'm confident, really. Penthouse things. Top, top. High, high rise. High rise. That is very incorrect. Ah! Uh -uh. The answer is Ekisu and Davide. Oh, Twitter tricked me because I never watched the show. So I was watching on Twitter. India and Zami definitely did not win. They came but third. Why is their love so strong. Yeah, they, they came third. No. But they were never winning. You say Ekisu and who? 
at Davide. They will never win it because the the black love is not something that we they care for out there, you know. Justice for black love. Justice for black love. And they're, they're the only one that's really real. Anyways, mm. that's another conversation. Yeah. Come on, basically. <laughs> conversation for another this or die. Yeah. And at the end of that, are you smart? You got Jared a five out of ten. It's not, I mean... 50% is strong. Yeah. I think anything over four, I respect you. Yeah. Someone last week got two. Ouch. And to be honest, they should have got one, but I made a mistake. <laughs> I some I thought Tarzan and Jungle Book was the same book, was oh. the same film. <laughs> Apparently it's not. Anyways, who gives a fuck? I'm not the one sitting down on the other side, did it? So I could be whoever I want to be. Smart, not smart. True. Doing, not doing, but well done. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you, 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 so much. you, you can do your best. If if I see you looking that this way, <laughs> did, were you cheating? Was she oh, cheating? Were you giving no. answers? I was seeing a vision. God was throwing me the answers. Well, clearly the vision was blurry because you got five he out of ten. He did it so like that. He did it so like that. He Just, said, I can't have it. I can't do it all. Yeah. I, you can only throw the fresh exactly. so many times. Exactly. <laughs> Right, guys, we are going to move on to the meat of things. Of course, we have got hot topics of the week. We're going to be talking about the trending news this week. And we are going to start with Baldwin. This has been a great conversation. So actor Alec Baldwin will be charged for the involuntary manslaughter for killing the cinematographer on the set of a film where he is credited as the producer and lead actor, Rust. When handling the revolver back in... Uh, on set back in 2021, Baldwin pointed the weapon at the camera while filming as allegedly directed to. When the trigger was pulled, the gun was then fired and fatally shot the camera operator. Mm. The armorer, Hannah, was charged with manslaughter. No. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of fucking words here. Yeah. <laughs> so... Dave Halls took a plea deal admitting that there was su sufficient evidence to convict Bolden for negligent use of a deadly weapon. Prosecutors on the case insist that... Hold on. Is this somebody's dad or my bargain? Bolden? <laughs> no, that's... Ne no, seriously. Is this not... This is... Hold on. Alec Bolden. Oh, I Alec, know that familiar. name. Alec no, Bolden. I think that might be Haley Bolden's dad if I'm not oh, bugging. Really? No? I don't... Oh, uncle. Okay, oh. cool. I knew that that name was very, very. Thank you. Somebody that knows uh, something. <laughs> Somebody that knows her. Cultured. Uh, cultured. Okay, it's not. It's not her dad. It's not her dad. Okay. Anyways, so Haley Baldwin's uncle, Haley uh, Baldwin Bieber, Bieber Baldwin. Oh, okay. Is it Baldwin? Baldwin. Bald. Bald something. Yeah. Baldwin. Baldwin. Baldwin something. Hey. He um, has been convicted of manslaughter because obviously on a set of his sh of a shoot, um, there was a chart. There was a, uh, a gun. charged a gun. It was shot, and it ended up killing someone. Mm -hmm. So there's a load of questions that has been asked about it. Obviously, people are questioning why live ammunition was being a was was allowed to be on set, mm -hmm. um, and. Why was it also a loaded gun? Right. There's so many questions, but do you feel like he should have been charged? I feel like, yes, he should have been charged. Mm -hmm. It was, it, you know, nobody knows. I don't know if the case is still like, we don't know what happened, but I just feel like it's, it was a careless mistake. Very careless. Yeah. And someone died. Like they, they can't come back. Mm -hmm. So I think they should be charged. I do think that they should look into how this thing happened and obviously if this was not intentional mm -hmm. they should not i don't think they deserved life or anything because i feel like we all make mistakes but if it's a team effort and like the mistake was on everyone i really think like yes i agree them. yeah i first when i first watched this i thought it wasn't fair but i think what is different in this case is that he was a producer mm -hmm. as well as an actor so a producer has the responsibility of the ongoings mm -hmm. of the um of the play mm. or the production as a whole right. so everything outside of being an actor he has responsibility for so how the cameras work yeah. how the props work how the set works things like that mm. so he had a um what's the word 
responsibility mm. to do the extra due diligence in that department. Now, if it was just an actor that came on set and the gun was loaded and he didn't know, yeah. yeah. But it is his job to make sure and to be aware of these things um, yeah. as a producer. So I can see why he got charged. And because of that, I can agree that it was a fair reasoning as to why he was proven guilty. And yeah. again, he was he was proven guilty for manslaughter. It was just pure negligence. And someone got killed. It wasn't intentional, but he had a responsibility so to like take precautions. Pointed to the guy, right? It wasn't even the actor. He he shot the gun at a camera person. So somebody that is mounting uh, mounting the cameras, he shot it. So he, he was trying to see if it was, what, what was I've got no idea it what the <laughs> positioning was or who, what, where. But um, I feel like they said that there was sufficient evidence for him to um, to be charged. Yeah. And uh, do you know what? A lot of times, prosecutors are on the case assist that even A-listers need to be tried by the law and are not exempt from it as it is their duty to protect mm. everyone. I feel like a lot of times, especially when they come to high profile cases, um, people are tend to be used as examples. Mm. So they That's get true. harsher punishment because... They want to, the, especially when it's yeah. highly publicized, they want to show that, yes, if you do this, right. this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, was that the case in this situation? I don't know. It could be. Mm. I didn't read the ins and out of the conversation, mm. but I feel like um, from what I'm seeing, yeah, it's fair still. Yeah, it has. Because this is, I'm thinking like, if this was my family member, what, what would I want? Yeah. Yeah, it's, you have to go to. I do believe that people like, people should be held accountable including a-listers including people who are celebrities and yeah. stuff if you are not aligned with the law as any normal you know citizen yeah. i feel like everybody should be charged equally um sure. there have been cases in the past where people who have money or have power have been able to override the rules yeah. of the law um which is not fair if this was any other i think this was if there was any other person um they would have it would have been, been do you know what i mean it, it is what it is but yeah um free him in it well don't free him because he done it I, but um big up like, him i feel like if someone wants to do a crime they could easily do it if you know they're like oh i can get away with this because they're gonna think this isn't you know amazing yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about two two things first of all it's not on my list but i believe ice spice is coming out of an ep mm, so obviously yeah. by the time this comes out ice spice is gonna have an ep coming out um and i believe it's today isn't it yeah ice yeah. spice announces debut ep like out at midnight the second track is titled princess diana i think i saw that yeah i'm really excited to hear this yeah. you know i feel like ice spice is a female version of Soldier Boy. In what way? Very unserious, stupid music <laughs> that we jam to. And look, do you know what? I love Ice Spice. Do you know what? Yeah. Not, not every rapper has to be a J. Cole yeah. or a Kendrick Lamar yeah. or someone that is a philosophical and yeah. has a, does a punchline. She's fun. Sometimes I just want to dance in the mm. fucking club and just do this. And I feel like Soldier Boy was that of our time in that era. Like who says, hopped up out the bed, turn my swear, gone. Like, <laughs> do you think that Kendrick Lamar is going to be singing this type of lyrics? But it was, it's dumb and it's good and it's boppy. Yeah. Uh, turn my swear, gone. <laughs> but I do, I, I do feel Take like. Take a look in the mirror, say hey, what's, what's up, what's up, what's, what's up? up? Yeah. I'm, I'm getting money. <laughs> oh. Like, very, very silly, very unserious. Yeah. But I think Soldier Soldier Boy was more like orchestrated, like it's planned. Like, like when I listened to his stuff, I was like, oh, like okay, come it's on. Like the no, I give him a little Do bit you, more credit. No, you shouldn't. A little because he bopped of it, but he wasn't. <sighs> okay, you know what I see? come on, the guys. Reason why I okay, the reason why baby, I, feel like I know that you like me. You're, you're my, my future, future wifey. wifey. Soldier Boy, tell him, yeah, you can be my Barney. Yeah. I can, I can be, be your client. Clyde. You can be my wife. wife. Text me. <laughs> is that, come on. Is that lyric? It's deep. It's philosophical. If you really look into it. Bonnie and Clyde, really? He went in there. He really looked there. Right. Historical. But right. I do feel like, the thing is like, I spice as a woman, I just feel like there's too much, the sexualization thing. And it's like, they're not really looking at her as, oh, like, 
she's doing her crafts is like, oh, we see a light-skinned woman with a nice body. Mm-hmm. And the disrespect is just like... Yeah, people are not giving... Not, they're not they're not rating that spice. And I just yeah. feel like she's having fun. I yeah. feel like people don't like women having fun. And that's the problem. They don't, they don't want women to have a good time. Fucking hell, <laughs> bruv. I remember... I was... I was I, I, I made a video recently and it was about how I'm in my bad B era. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about yeah. how I've been, I've been in my suffering era. I've been in my broke era. But this year, I've made a choice to be in my bad B era. And I was quite surprised... To see people, yeah, but why are you not in your wife era? Why did you not mention being in a homemaker era? Why are you always, why are you girls? This is not godly. And it's just like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Shut up, fam. Men are allowed to do nonsense. They're just, it's like, why are you angry that I'm happy? You can't stand, you can't stand it. You cannot st- like. I was looking at my comments. And I was thinking, life can't be this bad, you know. I can't they, even lie. They don't want you to be casual. They don't. The thing is, I wasn't even talking about casual sex. I was just talking about in terms of looking sexy, right. feeling sexy. Yeah. When you're like, oh, she's a bad bee, it doesn't mean like, oh, she fucking passes yeah. busses her pussy open, doesn't she? <laughs> she's a bad bee. She looks right. good. She has a good energy. She eats good. She's confident. she's got confidence. Yeah. She's working it. Her body's banging. That's what I meant. Why? Just because I want to be a bad bee. That means I want to do prostitution. Is that what I said? It's sick. It's really sick. Like I and the thing is like when we say all these things, it's like be yourself, love it. But mm-hmm. there's some people that are like, don't be yourself, yourself is ugly. And it's like Yeah, seriously, right. don't be listen, <laughs> no, you need to rewind and put that. <laughs> some people be yourself, other people don't be yourself because you actually yourself is actually better by oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> Your yourself is not great. Don't be yourself. They, be like Jesus. No. Be word, like Jesus. Word, word, word. Because but, yourself not banging. It isn't. And I think it they when people say that, it allows them to get away with nonsense. Like, oh yeah, I'm myself. I'm yeah, I'm rude, yeah, I'm an asshole. Take it, you know, some men, take it like that, I'm an asshole. Yeah, that's me. You don't have you ever been with an asshole before? I don't freaking want to. I don't like you. You are nasty. Seriously. <laughs> don't, nasty behavior. Don't brag about being an asshole. It's not I nice. see that as well. Don't it's, brag about being an there's asshole. There's nothing nice about it. There's we nothing want nice gentlemen. about it. We want classy men, gentlemen, Crazy. respect, respectful men, charming men, sweet Someone men. I can bring home tomorrow. Simps. I love me a simp. Me too. I don't even like that. Why is it? Why are we? Why is it insulting to be nice to a woman? Why are you insulting someone to they, be nice to a woman? They're afraid to be vulnerable. The the little puppy inside of them is crying for help. Again, we're talking about accountability. It's not my fault that your mom doesn't rate you. I feel like it's important (laughs) to heal so that you can be nice to women. Just because... I don't even want to fuck it. I keep saying, I keep telling myself, I'm not going to do men bashing, you know. I keep saying every fucking show I don't I'm not gonna do it but fucking hell it just drives me but yeah Yeah. I Spice I really like her she's in her era man I feel like people are also commenting on you know what she was wearing she had a she had a shoot recently and it's like just because people don't look or dress the same as you doesn't mean that you should condemn them the fact that she rocks her natural hair you know you bitches are talking about you don't want to wear braids in the fucking club like we've got a girl out here that you know wants to wear her um crusted the crab hair and is rocking (laughs) it um She's and looking, the curls are bouncy. And the curls are bouncy and she and yeah. she owns it. I've seen a lot of times she that's that's she wears yeah. her hair out and yeah. it's her it's she's it's 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 her thing, it's part yeah. of her brand, it's part of her identity. She doesn't hide behind wigs and this yeah. and that. Which of course we love the wig girls, we love the braid girls, but it's just quite refreshing to see, especially as soon as people come into mainstream media, they found the middle part bust down is coming on straight. Like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the, and then the teeth is done. Look at Gorilla, yeah. fam. As soon as her first check, she said, I'm gonna get me. <laughs> Yeah, Some no right. She got them new teeth, you get me? But I'm, I'm happy to see she's still in her era, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, don't expect philosophical stuff in it on this fucking EP. No, for real. It's not for you to be thinking hard. She's being herself, let her be. It's not for you to question her lyricist and be like, well, she didn't do the punchline, so she does it bang. Right. Fucking put your booty shirts, shorts on and have a good time. It's just, and also it's this thing where people are like, oh, and my kids cannot look up to her because it's, excuse me, your kids need to look up to you. Mm-hmm. No, but no celebrity should be, oh, I need someone I can look up to. I used to look up to you. Now you don't, 
she's having fun let her she's a normal person everyone has personalities don't let your kids be looking up to people just because Ooh, who gave us who gave us that job that responsibility shouldn't be had but i think it's very it's very funny when i say that is because why are you not why are you not teaching your children to be better men and women right. but the problem is is that you you leave them in front of a tv and ipads to be docile while Ooh. you go around and try and run after all your multiple men Listen. and then you're upset you're upset because i'm not raising your children for you via the tv that you see you stuck them in front of what's my business <laughs> you know what i mean no, raise your children leave your boyfriends alone okay i know you're a single mom and you're lonely but yeah you leave your kids with these people and that's where the trauma starts and then they think they have to be this thing and I don't even want to get into that. But seriously, spend time with your children. How about that? Don't leave them in front of the TV to be watching me for two hours. Take them out to fucking play. How about that? (laughs) How about why you? Why would you leave your child? (sighs) Is it in front of the TV? Right. And you're saying, oh, Cardi B should raise them. Why don't you raise your child? Should be the one that turned the TV on. You turned the iPad on. Exactly. You gave them iPads iPad, iPhone, I, iPhone. So that you can be speaking to Shaniqua for five hours on the phone. You don't want to hear her crying. Every time she's crying, you give her the iPad. Now she's on fucking Fortnite. YouTube watching Cardi B. You didn't even put the children uh, safety lock on. You left it on adults. Listen. And now you're talking about raising where you're not a role. Get lost. The Facebook warriors need to stop. I'm really sick of it. Get lost. But I think I'm going to, oh, I think, uh, wait, am I going to close that? There's nothing. Listen, I, honestly, there's quite a lot of bad news here, but I don't really care to talk about yeah. it. But guys, I would like to close it there how long have we been filming hour and a half exactly exactly okay 35 lovely guys i would like to close it there but before we close i would love to know where people find you on the bumbuckler internet place i'm everywhere and soon i will <sighs> take over the world so yes just uh, be prepared for me but you can find me on tiktok at jwordard j-a-w-o-r-d a-a-a three a's instagram same thing um I also have my own podcast that I'm starting. Yes, yeah, so Joda Please on Spotify and yeah. Apple Podcasts. Also, I'm tapping into the YouTube. So that one is J O W O D A. Jawedza with three A's on all platforms. And guys, please make sure you check out her podcast after mine. And with that being said, we are going to be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. I'm motherfucking out. <laughs> LA, it's been a pleasure. I'm going back to London. And that's it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>